We are joined on the dais by head coach Adam Fisher from Temple, Hasir Miller, and Shane Dizoni. Coach, before we get into questions, uh, please give us some thoughts on today's game. Uh, just, just so proud of this group. I mean, that was awesome. Um, these guys have just stayed together. Um, they believe in one another. Everybody has stepped up. It's been certain guys' nights. Some guys have played more minutes, some less minutes, but everybody stayed together. Uh, I couldn't be more proud of a group of young men that have bought into something and just believe. Um, and also, I know it's going to come up. I know we had a 10-game losing streak. I'm well aware. Um, but thank you. I'm sure somebody's going to bring it up. But uh, again, really happy for these young men. It's a player's program, and uh, they delivered tonight. All right. Uh, please raise your hand if you have a question. I'm going to start the front row here. We'll get a microphone to you. Um, this is for well, everybody, but it seemed like in the second half, y'all were forcing them to play your brand of basketball, that more kind of tough, gritty, low scoring, defensive style. What what allowed you guys to do that? And what, what was the conversation like at halftime? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, at halftime, again, our approach is the same. We've been in this situation, right? We've been, I think it was down down eight, right? And they, they got two free throws there at the end that hurt, but uh, down eight, and it's it's about staying together, right? All right, hey, we're gonna make some adjustments, and we talked about those adjustments at halftime. It's easy to say it. It's really hard to go execute, and these guys did it, and that's why I'm so proud of them. We were, I thought, elite communicators today on the defensive end. Our activity was great, and again, our brand of perfect is playing together. We're not always, doing the right stuff all the time. We mess up some assignments, but we do it hard. We do it together and we communicate, and that's our brand of basketball. On the right over here, Coach, uh, you, you said after the game, Adam, uh, that Coach Cheney was looking down uh, on this team. Why has it been so important for you to connect the legacy of those past coaches, past legends within that program to this current team? You know, it, it's one of the winningest programs in all of college basketball, right? And we have great facilities. We get you know great charter flights, all these amazing things because of all the great players that came before us. And that's why we have a board in the Lee Accor Center uh, that we hit, and all former players that come back, they sign that board, and that's special to us. It's not just something you know we talk about. So we play for those guys that came before us. We know they they've led Temple to places we want to go to, uh, and I think there's no better way to you know get to where you want to go than to hear from people that have done it and done it in that cherry and white. And I won't say losing streak, but you have a di difficult stretch, obviously, this season. <laughs> I had to deal with some off-the-court adversity as well. How are you all able to weather everything that you endured to get to the point where you're one game away from an NCAA tournament? Break? It's simple for us. We just try to stay locked in. You know, we use the term loose and locked in. If, you got, if you're at our shoot-around, we, we get after it. We're detail-oriented. But we have fun. we got to enjoy the moment. And our focus is always on getting better. We don't really talk about winning and losing and this and that, and even at halftime today. If we do the right things, we'll be happy. And that's what we talk about. Stay focused, get better with film, get better with whatever it is, and then you'll be enjoying the moment. Coach, on the aisle right here. Shane, late in that game, uh, Golden, sometimes he was coming all the way up and kind of bothering, and then he, or he was protecting the rim. What, what, how did you measure tie game? You, you pulled up and hit like a 15-footer. Um, <clears throat> just having like good spacing on the court, my teammates uh, allowed me to just get that shot, um, came off the ball screen. I think somebody in the corner had spaced out, so it gave me that lane uh, to get a pull up, and I just knocked it down. Is there, you know, you're like stealing the ball like crazy here, like are your spider senses up, or your eyes, mm -hmm. like what is that, you know, where does that come from? I'm trying to find ways to, to get my team to basketball, I'm trying to find ways to get stops, so if you can get a steal, we can get on transition, and I think that helps our team a lot, so just trying to be in the passing lanes and find ways to get us extra possessions. In the back. Uh, Coach looking ahead to tomorrow facing UAB. What do you make of that matchup and what's it going to take to beat them? I got to go watch more film tonight. We were so locked in on today. Um, obviously, we have just played them recently. Uh, it seems like a long time ago because of how many games we played in between. But we'll get together tonight. These guys will rest and uh, then we'll be ready tomorrow to give us a, the best game plan we think to go attack UAB. Really great team, great coach, uh, really talented group we have to play against. On the left here in the second row. 
Isaac Gorman, Major Madness. You seem to give Vlad Golden some problems later in that game. So can you talk about what your uh, change in approach to uh, guarding him later in that game? You know, you? Yeah, no, I think we, we tried to be a little bit more physical inside, right? Push out catches when we could. Um, and then we tried to help, right? And it's hard when you help because they have so many weapons. I mean, Coach May is an unbelievable coach, one of the best in the country. And, you know, we wanted to guard the three. That was a big emphasis for us, but also make sure inside we could help get back out. So I think uh, a great credit, right? We had Ema guard him. We had Sam guard him. We had Ja guard him. We had Steve guard him. I think they guarded him for a possession. So, you know, it's March. Whatever it takes, you got to do. And these guys are doing it right now. Front row right here on the right. Shane, just take me through those trips to the line. You went multiple times there in the final minute 30, minute of the game. What, what was going through your head when you were at the line? Um, just knowing that these free throws really counted. They were big moments. Um, I hit the first two um, and then got fouled again. The second two rimmed out. I wish they would have went in, but um, you know, it's tough shots, you know, but it was a good thing that we came back on defense and how Sam Miller got the stop. But also, the way, Shane, you picked your head up, man, right? Missed one, you get back, you were in the gap, you're talking, like, that's Temple Tough, Shane. I'm proud of you, man. That was big time. Okay. On the left in the front row. Hey, Sierra, what's, so, like, in that final second, you're clinging to the ball, you're down on the court, you guys have a one-point lead. What's going through your head as that last second takes off the clock? Don't call a foul. Because sometimes <laughs> when you dive on the ground and got a guy's feet down there, and says you roll up on somebody's ankle, they can easily call a foul. So I was just hoping that there was no call there. And once I had the ball, I wasn't letting go. So. Part of the aisle, second row. Adam, when uh, Sam got his fourth foul, um, you went with Ema. You could have done different combinations there. What was the thinking? You know, I, I think obviously Sam and Ja had four, and you know I thought Emo was giving us good minutes with his physicality. He was setting great screens, uh, getting these guys open. So, you know, we wanted to keep those guys out of foul trouble so they could help finish the game. And Emo's minutes were huge. You know, we, we're not in there at the end of the game if it's not for him. Uh, he was awesome. I thought, you know, even Quante Berry when he came in the game, when Ja came in the game, Z, all of them were huge contributors tonight. And uh, you played. Uh, fair amount of zone defense that was in the plan? What were you trying to force there? And then what do you think you got? Yeah, you know, it's something that um, we talked a lot about going into the game. Obviously their size, their ability to make shots, and they, they, they flow into their offense so well. Their transition, make or miss, they fly it up. So we wanted to just try to change the pace a little bit. Um, and I thought that really helped, but it's, it's these guys. Their activity, their effort, they played so hard, and then we rebounded. Uh, but I think we only gave up two offensive rebounds, which was huge. Uh, major point of emphasis for us, so really proud of these guys. Anybody in here have another question? Front row. Adam, just kind of take me through the, the halftime message. You got another, you know, start, slow start offensively. You guys really turned it on in the early minutes there in the, the second half. Kind of take me through that, that message to the guys at the halftime. You know, to me, the message was simple. I, I don't think we were playing great basketball. And you go into the locker room, you're down eight. And we've been there all season, um, been down. So we were just talking about what do we need to do to clean up? You know, that's why I love this group. We don't point fingers, we stick together, and we communicate in the locker room. It's not yelling and screaming and this or that. It's, hey, we need to do this. And then these guys talk. Hey, when they said this, this will help. And I think when you have great leadership from your players, that's what you see on the court. And having those guys talk in the locker room amongst each other, regroup was really big for us. On the aisle, second row right here in the middle. Is there, it seems like this run might have started when you hit that shot at the buzzer last Sunday against UTSA. How hard was that shot? Five games ago. It was, a, it was definitely a tough look. Huge credit to UTSA, a hell of a team. Um, but he was playing um, great defense and was there every step of the way. I even had to double pump it a little bit, but it was a tough shot. Um, credit to him, but um, good players got to make big plays. So. Got one in the front right here. Kind of to your point, this is you'll, you guys will have played five games in five days. How do you prepare on such a tight schedule, film, scout, rest? How do you guys go about that? Credit to Coach Fisher. I mean, every preparation for the whole season has been the same. We've been consistent with everything we do. So 
I'm sure nothing will change. We'll follow the same the same schedule that we've been following since what was that November. So I think we're going through the same thing. So. All right, Coach. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.